I have the dumbest proposal I think I've ever read coming out of Congress. And when I tell you who suggested it, you'll understand why. It's Rashida Tlaib and Cori Bush. And hold on to your britches. This is a really, really dumb one. Rashida Tlaib and Cori Bush have, have, have come out with the, the stone cold dumbest thing. Well, I shouldn't say that. They come out with a lot of dumb things. This is really, <laughs> this is really dumb. Uh, is this just another one, right? Where are the two nut jobs? That's Cori Bush on the left and Rashida Tlaib in her happy face. She always looks like that, screaming about something. You know, she's wearing a kafia around her neck. They have decided, listen carefully to what I'm going to say, because it's going to sound like I'm making a mistake, but this is what they proposed. They proposed in Congress that U.S. aid to Israel should be frozen until Hamas frees the hostages. Let me say that again. Aid to Israel should be frozen until Hamas frees the hostages. <laughs> and if they don't wait a minute. Bear, wait, bear, bear. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt. Are you reading this correctly? <laughs> Honest to God, I'm reading it. <laughs> what? what? And, and, if, and if Hamas never frees the hostages and kills them, then there should be no aid to Israel. It was it was so backward and so dumb that the, the Democrats, even in the squad, didn't even understand what they were doing. In other words, on October 7th, Hamas invades Israel, right? kills thousands, right? kidnaps 350 or whatever, destroys 10 towns, puts babies in ovens, cuts off heads, burns people alive. Weaponized rape. I, I, it's a Just, horror yeah. story. Yes. They refused to watch the videos. They said it was all staged. It was fake. Even though the videos were promoted by Hamas, thousands of them are all over YouTube and Twitter. Uh, and it's everywhere. It's not even a question. But they've decided that unless Hamas frees the hostages, Israel should get no money. And if they never free the hostages and they kill them, Israel should never get money again. I can't even explain it. And their own caucus, the Dems, are stupefied. That's these ladies, goofball nut number one, goofball nut number two. Neither one of them has ever been there, but boy, do they hate Jews. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know, Barry, they I, I hate to say this, but for any of the hostages that are still there living, going through living hell, if they're still alive. Well, they're, uh, according to hostages that have been released and according to the idea of videos that have been released, the hostages are kept in cages in some cases. Living hell. Yep. But these are peaceful people that's doing this, though. These are these are liberators. These are what do they call them. Uh, resistance fighters. These are monsters, evil, pure evil, pure evil. And 100%. the very fact that people are supporting them, Barry, it is a humanity is declining.